Greetings everybody, Okami Games Online. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Last time, we maxed out our bond with Yusuke. One more to cross off the list. And in this episode, we're going to be maxing out another bond, though not quite yet. We will max out another bond in this episode, but it's not going to be right away, because first, let's spend some time with Futaba. Hello there, Futaba. Let's keep going on that promise list. You got it. We got ourselves a Hermit Persona, which I actually had to buy back, which I did in between episodes. All right. Let's hold a strategy meeting in LeBlanc. Don't worry, there aren't any customers around right now. Hmm. The next promise on the list is go to school, right? Pretty hard stuff for the second boss. It's gonna be even harder knowing there are people there too. All right, let's do it. Well, ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Huh? You're going to school? Oh, um, never mind. Just go and have some fun. See how I like it. School can at times be a very terrifying place. <laughs> Here we are. School. I think my heart's gonna pop out of my chest. <laughs> hey there, Makoto. Weren't expecting to see Futaba here, I'd worry you. What are you doing here? Um, well... I see. Promiseless, just like what you used to make with your mother. Well, do you want to come in? Um. um. Can I use a go home instead? We'll do this together. No, no need for infiltration tools. I was hoping you'd say that. I'm sure you'll be fine. Most of the students here already left, and all the teachers are in the uh, meeting. Oh, and I'll join you. I can use my position as student council president to avoid any problems that may arise. Really? You're incredible. If I've got you two with me, this place is going to be as easy as fighting a trash mob. I'm not sure I understand. That's a good thing, right? Anyway, come on. I'll show you around the school. Um... This is the cafeteria, where some students choose to eat lunch. Uh... Lunch. That reminds me of this time I was the only kid who didn't get a pudding with my meal. Oh, and this other time I ate a strawberry with ketchup on it. I didn't notice because they are both red. It was really gross. Um, anyway, the cafeteria is pretty boring, huh? Let's move on. Um... This is the school library. We have all the regular academic fare here. Textbooks, encyclopedias, study guides. But we also have a few manga and light novels at the request of some especially vocal students. So many books. Do you like to read, Futaba? Uh. Mm-hmm. Back in elementary school, I memorized the titles of all the books on a shelf ju in just one glance. The other kids thought I was making it up when I told them, though. But then when I recited all the titles to prove it, they just laughed and called me a freak. Am I weird, Akira? I'd say it's more of a talent than just weirdness. Someone you can take from personal experience, after all. I don't want to be talented if it's going to creep people out. Ugh. School's the worst. Well, should we move along? Only the classrooms remain. Though, on second thought, maybe we should pass on those today. Hmm. 
Shall we head back to the entrance? <sighs> I'm sorry, Futaba. No. Don't be. It's my fault. I remembered all that sad stuff on my own. I guess dwelling on the past is just a bad habit of mine, huh? Really? Because I think it's cute. Huh? What kind of weird fetish stuff are you into, Akira? But... Honestly, Futaba, it's clear how much you've improved recently. You would never have gotten so worried about this before. Huh? What I mean is, worrying about something is the first step toward changing it. Coming to school like this is a huge breakthrough, Futaba. You're doing great. Right, Akira-kun? Wait. Discovery. So you're happy with me even though I got totally depressed? Hmm. Is this like that saying about when life gives you lemons? Maybe we can make lemonade for the Phantom Thieves, uh, figuratively speaking. You're right. That would be wonderful. <laughs> Aw, yeah! Rank 4 of the Hermit Confidant, which gives us an ability that I wish we could have had earlier when I did that massive train sh session in Okumura's dungeon. Position hack! If we- when we start a battle, on occasion, we will immediately go into hold up. Alright. I'm sure you would make a lot of friends if you decided to come to school now, Futaba. Friends. Futaba? Oh, uh, nothing. Alright, I went back to school. So that means promise number two is all done. Okay, going home. Anyways, let's retreat for now. What are you feeling for dinner? How about curry? Okay? That ability will definitely help us a lot next time we're mementos or when we go into the next palace. Which, speaking of, we still have yet to find some sort of lead. Well, we already know who our next lead is because of the whole flashback thing. We just gotta see the events leading up to that. So, for tonight, let's spend a little bit of time with Hifumi. Good evening. The gold's key to victory lies in retreating. This means at times, retreating is an effective strategy in order to attack with your next move. It may be good for you to remember that as well. <sighs> I'm in the mood for a match right now. Something has to have happened. I'm at checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but I can't seem to give up. I'm not sure what my next move is after this checkmate. Something seems to have happened. What? Of course we'll help you think, Hifumi. Why would we not? Actually... Before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should lose my upcoming exhibition match against the pro. What? Why? It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women, and as a result, get more female fans. Then when I make my comeback, I'll become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way, I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. Eh, no, that, that's not gonna work. I wish I could agree, but... I feel my mother may be right. People do love a good comeback story. 
coming from the TV industry, my mother does have great insight for entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother, but it wasn't the first time, but... What made me sad was... I realized my mother didn't see me as a shogi player. She said that there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort into shogi. It's terrible. And that once I become famous, I can quit shogi and make money from my looks. The only reason she continues to support my shogi career is so she can profit off of me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match, as long as I build my reputation and make money. To my mother, Shogi is just a vehicle to make me famous. However... Losing on purpose is wrong. Even if it helped me to become famous and ease my parents' burden. I don't want to turn my back on Shogi, a game that both my father and I loved. Well... We have to do something about it. There's no reason why you should turn your back on something you've put so much time into. <sighs> if only that were possible. She's the type of woman who never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity. Through me. I highly doubt she would even reconsider. Tell me her name. Whose name? My mother's? It's... Mitsuyo. Mitsuyo Togo. Um... What does that have to do with what we're talking about? More than you would imagine. Upstaging the stage, mother. No, stop! We are just! We swear! Somebody set us up. Almost this step three. You'll help me with this, right? Yo. I'm gonna be opening shop soon. So I'll need you to do the dishes once you're done with that. Hey! We can respond, but... I've got other plans. Plans that would... They still haven't caught the Phantom Thieves? I don't care how they do it, just throw them in the slammer already. It's too scary to have murderers on the loose. I wonder what kind of people the culprits are. They're murderers. Don't give me any of this justice crap. So what are we going to do for today? Well... Oh, who is... Can I bother you for a moment? Now that the funeral is over, it feels like a small burden has been lifted from my shoulders. Are you alright? I am. I actually feel bad about having everyone worry about me. How about you? Are you doing okay? I'm... managing in my own ways. You sure are strong. I'll come back. Don't worry. I think I'll be able to rejoin everyone around when exams end. Um, well, see you. <laughs> Haru. She's the one who should be in pain right now, yet she's still trying to cheer us up. Haru's trying not to worry for our sake. Well then. And we have exams tomorrow. Great. Alright. Let's head to the school gate because I probably guess where this is going. Hello there, Makoto. Oh. Time to max out your bond. Are you free right now? I want to talk to you about something. Of course. 
Thank goodness. Yeah, we can study. It's fine. So, I finally made up with Aiko. I think she knew it deep within her heart. And seeing him like that finally helped her realize. That's a huge relief. So am I. She should be out of trouble now. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Right now, she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end, Eiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. I plan on doing the same as well. Going back to studying then? Yes. I thought there was no point in continuing my studies, but... This time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise. And I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. For now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. That is why I need to study. It sounds difficult, but knowing you, you'll be able to achieve that dream. You're right. I will need an extensive academic background. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. Your father would be proud, Makoto. I hope so. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Thank you for all your help. It must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? But we went through so much together. Even so, I'm glad I asked you. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the priestess, granting thee infinite power. We are rank 10 of the priestess confidant. All right. All right. Which gives us the ability to fuse Cybel, the most powerful persona of the High Priestess Arcana. Johanna has transformed into a knot. By the way, you can rely on me when you need it. I won't go easy on you if you hold back. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> 
What a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. Just be careful. I will. The objective is the same after all. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. Oh, that's right. And thanks for helping me. I'll gladly assist you with your studies as well. <laughs> you had best be ready. Oh, you'd be surprised by how much we know. We've got max knowledge after all. Let's go home. And since that's in our bond maxed with one of our party members, I'm not! Completely nulls nuclear, obviously, and is also now strong against curse attacks. And we have Evade Psy now. And as much as it hurts to get rid of this, I think I'm gonna get rid of Defense Master. It hurts to get rid of it, but... That's the decision I made. Ah, you're back. This isn't much of an update, but I think I'm gonna be back to school starting tomorrow. I'm sorry for worrying all of you until now. Are you really okay, though? Be sure not to push yourself too hard in this time of grief. No, I actually need to push, push myself. My mind always wonders if I have nothing to do. Yeah, I totally get you. Besides, there's nothing I can do while I'm at home. Well, uh, I don't know how to put it, but try not to think about that stuff too much. And if anything happens, you can rely on us. Count on us anytime. Um, to be completely honest, when I ended up alone, I did doubt you all a tiny bit. We cannot blame you for that. But it's so horrible for me to doubt you. I mean, I'm the one who asked you all to do this. Your father just passed away, Haru. It's natural to feel a flood of emotion at such events. Yeah. It's really hard when you lose someone like that. But I'm okay now. You've all helped me out so much. Right back at ya. Thank you. Those words are truly reassuring. Well then, I'll see all of you at school. <sighs> Haru. I'm not surprised she seems down. You should keep her in your thoughts, Akira. Still, despite how she looks, Haru has quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. Next time on Persona 5. Exams are right around the corner. As in, they start tomorrow. See you guys then.